This is not an ordinary game. It is more than football. It's a celebration. Celebration of football, of course. But celebration of freedom and celebration of being equal. Well, the first thing you notice when you return after, it was 20 years since I first came here. And uh, there was a lot of um, destruction and, uh, and fires. That's the first thing we noticed. We came the day after the bombing finished in 1999. It was amazing how resilient the people were because they started to rebuild immediately. Not, not literally rebuilding the houses, but starting to rebuild the infrastructure. They've always been um, very friendly people to, well, towards British, Americans and Europeans. Um, very tolerant. So they don't forget and they respect uh, what's been done for them. So it's not just football, it's, um, there's, there's a respect between the two countries. In a very short time, the things have changed very quickly in, in Kosovo. Uh, let's say just from since we declared independence, which was 2008, it's only 11 years ago, it has changed a lot. But I would say it changed even more and faster and, in, and luckily for the better, since we uh, were accepted by FIFA and UEFA, which was only three years ago. And it's definitely a great feeling. It's a great feeling that we have never uh, felt in this city, actually. We did play before the war under the Yugoslav regime. Uh, our league was illegal, so we were playing on, uh, on a normal fields, on, on a private pitches where there were no conditions. And obviously we're not even talking about the dressing rooms or anything like that. It was open air. And since then we loved and we played a lot uh, football. Football has played a major role in, in our country since, I mean, when we are part of Yugoslavia. Football has made people uh, introducing Kosovo into the world, into the, into the Europe. Now people, thanks to this, thanks to this fantastic, fantastic atmosphere, fantastic warming welcome to the English fans, people are getting to know Kosovo. I personally, I grew up watching Wayne Rooney, watching uh, Frank Lampard, I would like to have them here to have them here tonight, but unfortunately, it took Wefa so long to allow us to play. We are like 5,000 uh, people who, who who are enjoying with us, and we support Kosovo uh, different from. Other people, we are cultural, we don't uh, fight, we don't uh, uh, call for racism or something bad to do for our country. Uh, this is uh, for, for young generation to tell the people and the uh, young generation to, to how to, to love your country, not to hate, how to love people, how to come to make connection with, uh, with uh, everybody, not just with the England fans, because now we're playing uh, tomorrow with uh, England, but uh, in other ways, we, we can't help the England fans. We show the respect for them, you know. We, we welcoming and, and respect them because they helped us uh, to survive and now to play. If you told me four years ago that Kosovo will reach this stage or this 
the way we play. I would be skeptical, but I always knew that we have the good players. Kosovo has built its re reputation in, um, uh, with football because we are basically we we are proving to the world that we can play football we were isolated for quite a long time but uh, now we are uh, we are in a world stage and we're showing to them that we can play not just sing not just sing like Dua Lipa or Rita Ora but we can actually play and we we creating bridges which I, I think we creating bridges today is important the celebration of football, of peace and freedom. Football has a very important role in uh, recognizing Kosovo worldwide, in a, also in a political sense, but also in the sporting and uh, in, a, in a social context and cultural context. So uh, football uh, is, it's maybe sad to say, but it's one of the rare things that makes uh, us happy because life here is not so easy and uh, we are very isolated, we are the only one, only nations in Europe that uh, uh, we need visas to travel, which is uh, very, very, you know, it's ironic and, and maybe cynical. So football gives us hope and the Kosovo national team gives us also pride. My expectations about 2020 definitely haven't died yet. Like we lost in Pilsen, which is very unfortunate. Now the match against England is pretty much ceremonial, which is still very exciting to, to host such a great country uh, in Pristina for the first time. We're making history. Uh, definitely the hope hasn't died. We do have a playoffs. We will play against Macedonia on 26th of March in Macedonia, which as a as a Kosovo football fan, I really think that we can we can actually make it. It would have been great. Like we have accepted the new wave and FIFA only three years ago, and participating in a in a major championship in such a short time would have been a dream for us. <laughs>